David Clark, and I'm the director of the Information Security MSc course. And I'm going to be very brief, so I just want to give you some, a few ideas about this course, and I'll be around later, and you're welcome to come up and ask further questions based on these ideas I'm going to throw at you. So first of all, I want to say what are the main concepts about security which you have, uh, are able to kind of come across and get involved with and learn about and apply in this course. So the first one is cryptography, i.e. encoding information so that it's hard to learn that information and you, you have to use computational power normally in order to learn what the information is. And this is something which you're probably all familiar with, at least at a conceptual level. And then there's the opposite of that, which is cryptanalysis. So taking something which has been encrypted and learning techniques for decrypting it. So we'll study those things in, in this course. As well as that, there's the possibility to learn about security in distributed systems. Um, and uh, also to look at human factors because, you know, the, the, the kind of <coughs> sticking point for lots of security is it doesn't matter what clever things you do technically, it's actually the human factors which often tell at the end of the day. Plus, you'll be able to investigate the connection between security and software engineering. So whether this is um, uh, partitioning operating system, the way, the way applications run under operating systems, or whether it's looking at flows of information in programs, or whether it's looking at malware detection, uh, these are all things that uh, intersect with, with software engineering. And not to neglect the kind of, uh, a bit like the human factors, um, some people's interest in security is actually uh, from the point of view of management, of understanding um, what the standards are that oversee, uh, that, that kind of um, describe the way in which uh, you should manage security within organisations. So that's roughly the, the kind of areas in which the MSc covers. And the structure of the MSc is something like this, where at the centre there, um, these are the, uh, the, the things which are compulsory. They're the core of the MSc. So is learning a kind of broad spectrum of, of principles in computer security and learning uh, an introduction to cryptography and then having a, a, a unit where, where you read papers in uh, current research in the area, and then finally um, doing a thesis. So they're things that every single student that, do the, that, that, that does the course will be doing. Um, but you can uh, take various options, including options from other uh, MSc courses, and so you can specialise a bit in one or more of these uh, things which are hanging off the centre there. So looking in greater detail at distributed systems, software engineering, management and so on, the things that I, I mentioned earlier. Um, to kind of follow up on the theme that, uh, uh, one of the themes that Graham introduced, you can't really be all things to all people. But we do try in this MSc to cater to some extent, uh, as best we can, for the needs of people that do, um, are interested in both perhaps, look, you know, they're doing the degree because they want to go into industry or they're doing the degree because they have a, quite a deep interest in this area and they're interested in research. So uh, Graham's covered some of these points. And uh, um, I just add that uh, as far as industry goes, um, we, we do have people from industry involved in the program in various ways, including, for instance, project supervision or um, doing 
visiting lecturers and courses and so on. And finally, I'll just say that uh, um, you know, we don't just look at this from the point of view of a very formal um, you know, uh, course. Um, there are a lot of people involved in teaching and organising the course who are deeply interested in security. And um, you know, we run um, uh, a lab uh, which looks at, uh, um, uh, well, basically hacking and cracking of various kinds. And in fact, uh, the first cybersecurity challenge, I think it's gone up on our web on, on the department website, has been one that uh, um, was organised this year. Uh, was won by a group from uh, our department, which included actually people at different levels, but in particular, it included people from the uh, information security MSc course.